Welcome to the Millsurf Mike channel. I want to make a quick video showing support for a guy who's been a real stand-up member of the 2A community, Tim from the Military Arms channel. Now he's taking a lot of heat this week for, uh, for how the rollout of the SVD clone from FEG's been handled. And there's been a lot of rumor, a lot of speculation out there. And I'm not going to get into the details of that. I will let him handle that in his public statement and when FEG comes out with a public statement. But we in the 2A community always talk about constitutional rights. Uh, to me, if you're going to want constitution, you know, you want constitutional rights from your government, you also got to kind of show the same morality with each other. And one of the big Bill of Rights is due process and innocent till proven guilty. And that's what I'm going to ask you to do here with Tim is innocent till proven guilty. Don't be get out there keyboard warring and shit posting when you don't know the whole job. You don't be acting like a Yankee Marshall fangirl who don't know what the fuck's actually happening and you spout off on the internet. I talked to Tim earlier this week. Um, like I said, his story seems to be the only coherent story out there. He's shown himself in the past to be a truthful and venerable guy. And one of the big reasons I don't want to see him damaged is he's the face to many people of the GOA. And he's done a lot for the Second Amendment behind the scenes. Remember the pistol brace thing back in December? You know, it wasn't your God Emperor Trump or the NRA who got the NRA or who got the ATF to back off that. It was Eric Pratt from the GOA and Tim, you know, talking to people behind the scenes. And it was Mitch McConnell who threatened the ATF to get, you know, get them back off on that. Trump did nothing. The NRA did nothing. Well, the NRA bought that kid a Nerf gun for Christmas. So, you know, hey, nice PR stunt there. But I'm saying let's not damage someone who's, until you know the whole story, don't damage somebody who's very valuable to the 2A community. Some of you may be mocking me on that, but, I mean, results matter. He's brought a lot of people into the GOA, and the GOA is the group that does the most fighting. They properly use their money. They put their money to lawsuits, proper lobbying. They aren't, you know, self-promoting with their money. They depend on uh, people out there like Tim, Mr. Guns and Gear, um, you know, little pissant channels like mine to promote them. So anyway, innocent until proven guilty. Wait till the whole story comes out. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a great day.